Well, hi, YouTube. Welcome to CPTV. My name is Andrew, and we have a great show lined up for you today. We're going to talk all about Royal Caribbean's brand new ship that everybody's talking about, the Icon of the Seas. And we are joined by Cruise Planner's one and only Senior Director of Creative Programs, Ms. Teresa LeClaire. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for joining us. And the reason you are here today is because I was on the fabulous Icon of the Seas. I know. So yes. we're going to talk all about it. So why don't we just start off with, well, let's talk a little bit about Cruise Planners first. Okay. In quick synopsis, mm -hmm. what is Cruise Planners for the people that don't know? Cruise Planners is a travel franchise organization. Um, we have franchise owners all throughout the United States. We have over 2,500 2, franchise owners that sell all types of travel. So it's not just cruises. We do all-inclusives, tours, anything that you would like. Adventure travel, family travel, you name it. Our franchise owners can help you plan it. Amazing, amazing. So speaking of cruise, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about Icon of the Sea. So, what'd you think? Wow. <laughs> That's all I could say is, yeah. wow. I was actually quite uncertain uh, because they said, you know, it's the largest ship at sea. And so, I was imagining getting lost in this big vessel. But quite honestly, Royal really did it right. When mm -hmm. you first walk in, you are amazed and wow by the beauty of it, but the way that they have everything strategically placed, it really felt like you had so many open spaces to go to and it wasn't really that large after all. Mm -hmm. You know, what's interesting is that we obviously are in the travel industry and we learn about all these new ships that come out, but what do you think is the one differentiator? What made this ship, this new class, right? Because mm -hmm. after Icon, we know that Star of the Seas is coming out in, in a short time. So what, mm -hmm. what made this different? It's besides the size, right? Besides the size, you know, I believe Royal from everything from the vacation experience, from the technology they have on board, from the services, the shows, they did it right. Mm -hmm. They really nailed it on the head, you know, um, for even though it's coined for family travel, I see there's so many different layers of family travel that could be included in this, you know. Mm -hmm. So let's say um, if I am a family and I would like to go with you know, um, some of my friends who don't have kids, it's a perfect avenue for them because there's literally something for everyone to do on this ship. Yeah. Yeah. And they have it, the way that it's sectioned out, there's so many extraordinary adventures that one could have mm -hmm. and not have to feel like they are overwhelmed mm -hmm. with, um, you know, having to stay in the kids area, you know, because the way that they built it is that the parents can still enjoy doing adult things while the kids are enjoying their, you know, kiddie pool or their kid time, their yeah. water park and things like that. Yeah, and you know, speaking of adventure, I, I don't know if I, I've seen that thing, you know, mm -hmm. on the side of the ship that you do the Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did you do it? I was not able to do it. Oh. Um, you do have to book that in advance because okay. they are very, they, you know, they run a really good show where they want to make sure client safety first. And so, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and so you did have to sign up for it, and unfortunately, we didn't mm -hmm. um, get a chance to sign up for it. But right. I did watch a lot of people do mm -hmm. it, and they were having the time of their life. Yeah, I've seen some some influencers do it, and mm -hmm. it. I don't know if it's for me, Yeah, but it looks pretty cool. I would totally do it. Would I, you? I totally would, right. yes, because I'm one of those people who I have to try it Everything once? once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I'm not one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about um, the cabins on board. Mm -hmm. Talk about kind of if there's anything new, it's, if it's okay. different um, than... So what Royal does offer on this ship mm -hmm. is really new and exciting for families. Mm -hmm. It is three stories. It is um, technically they call a townhouse, and oh. it's over by Surfside, which is... Um, the the kid center, you know, so right the neighborhood. The neighborhood, yeah. yeah. So right outside, it's a nice little water park um, that young kids can enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, but the townhouse is um, three levels. You you come from the Surfside um, area, and then you walk up, and then you've got this beautiful living area, living room area, and then on the third floor, it's where the rooms are. But they also have an arcade room. There's you could do karaoke in there, and they have a slide that takes you to the first floor. Mm -hmm. So it's really quite amazing. You know, it, it accommodates up to six people, mm -hmm. I believe, mm -hmm. and it truly is just having your own townhouse mm -hmm. um, that has so many things that can accommodate. Um, you know, 
families of any ages. Um, and then I also um, was able to look at the Royal Suite and the Iconic Suite, and those are just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, one of the suites had the grand piano in there, and it's oh, like wow. the only one that has it. Wow. And the rooms are just magnificent, where it's windows everywhere. So you're looking out into um, the swim up pool area. You also oversee the beautiful blue ocean, you know, and it's uh, two stories as well. But it's a beautiful, amazing space. Yeah, that sounds amazing. You know, mm -hmm. one of the things that I've, I haven't had the pleasure of sailing yet, but one of the things that I thought was super cool, because I have a toddler, mm -hmm. and my wife and I would love to go on a cruise with him, but we also need to bring grandma and grandpa along. Right. And one of their suites, I saw this, it, it, it's, you have adjoining rooms, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a lobby, if you will, a little, a little atrium yes. area, so you have your your rooms are adjoining, but there is a, sp a common space, yes. which I, I've never seen that before. Yes, and so it's not the traditional where it's in your living room and it's a door into the other room, right. but it is basically two in independent entrances, yeah. and then that could then be you know a shared space for two families, you yeah. know, it's a multi generational. Um, travel which is fantastic yeah. so, okay we've talked about the ship the cabins how about mm -hmm. the entertainment <gasps> the entertainment is just amazing um, I went to three different shows so how, they, wait, also let's how long were you on board okay so, um, we were fortunate to enjoy the ship for three full nights and you saw three shows I saw three shows three days in three days I actually saw three shows in one day oh, wow. <laughs> No, in two days, I should say. But um, yes, so they do the theater production of The Wizard of Oz mm -hmm. on the ship, and they throw in cute little puns and things that Royal is known for. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's very um, it's very well produced. And they had Dorothy on her bed; she was flying up on top. They had the witch, and the witch was like you know riding her bike, and they were literally suspended wow. in the Royal Theater, yeah. you know, and it was amazing. Um, and the the cast is amazing. Um, so we, we saw that one night, and then we went to Absolute Zero, which is the ice rink that um, Royal has on their yes, ship. You yes. know, they're like one of the one and only that has it. And so during the day, you can go and, you know, ice skate with your friends and your family and things like that. And then at night, they do this amazing ice show where there must have been 20 skaters at once on the rink and wow. they were dancing around they were doing acrobats and um it was spectacular wow. you know and then the other show that um, we were able to attend is in the aqua dome okay and it's an aqua show which royal is known for as yep. well right. um, but what they did on this ship it, it's an enclosed area which where is different from oasis class totally which is outdoors, different right totally yeah. different and so during the day because they don't do the shows during the day during okay. the day it turns into this beautiful open spacious area where there is a seafood restaurant mm -hmm. in there that you can enjoy and the back area is this beautiful opened air space where you could lounge around you could go to the cafe there's a nice bar back there and then at night is when they do the water show and the it is just they have these cool LED shows uh, lighting they have these two mechanical arms that come out and and it creates a light show while the 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 airless were going up and down in the water they being lifted up above and the sound system is just incredible so you really felt immersed into this um, show and it was one of the most fantastic shows I've ever seen. Wow. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah. And we only saw a sneak peek of what it was. So if you can imagine, right. you know, as they do their full show, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just the, the talent on that ship yeah. is incredible. And, and that's Royals, that's their hallmark, yeah. right? They're always, totally. always innovating and yes. bringing new exciting entertainment yeah. and I'm sure it's great for every kids adults oh, teens, yes. everyone everyone would be, be in awe with it. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So let's now move on to dining. So I mm -hmm. know there's 
40 dining venues There's, or something like yes, that? Yes, 40 plus different yeah. types of way that you will never starve on this ship. <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah. Yes, so they have... Um, they have a, you know, a sushi restaurant where you could order at the window, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and the food there is fantastic. You know, we were able to go do a, a few tastings throughout, and it's in their Central Park area, which I love. Mm -hmm. um, Central Park, to me, it's like, you know, I, I see what people are not doing nowadays where they're walking hand in hand with their spouse down Central. And so I, that's what it makes you feel like. You just want to walk down Central Park <laughs> and enjoying your cocktail, you know, and they, then they have a steak, their steakhouse, yes, which chops, right? chops mm -hmm. um, delicious as well, you know, and um, they introduced um, what they call Aqua Dome Market, where um, during the day, you know, it's an open marketplace where you can go in and they have like four different styles of food. So there's an Asian, there's Mediterranean, you could order fresh crepe and you just go up and you order and they give you a little Asian bowl, you know, of, you know, teriyaki chicken or what have you. Mm -hmm. And then you can have some, um, you know, a Mediterranean wrap and, and that's just one area right. and then if you go to another area there's a Mexican Catina where everything is fresh and you know freshly served vegetables and and um, fruits um, then they have what they call base camp and there you could order things like um, Wisconsin cheese curds mm -hmm. if you like that kind of stuff yeah. <laughs> and um, and also smash burger which was like a hot item yeah. um, they also do shrimp bao buns mm. that, that were available there too and then um, the waffles and chicken, which is always a hot item as well. You could order like if you wanted like hot honey syrup with it. Mm -hmm. And so you dip the little thing in there and there's chicken inside the little waffles. Oh, so they really, they, they, they changed it up. Totally, totally. <laughs> yeah. So there's all different ways that you can eat. And then when you go on the island, um, you know, a perfect day at Coca K, yep. there's multiple ways for you to eat there too. So you will never go hungry. Go hungry on this And show. I, you know, speaking of, we didn't touch on this right in the entertainment, but the attractions on board, there's a whole water park on board. Amazing water park. Yes. 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 So you could do the drop. Um, they have um, a family raft. They have, you know, an open air tube. It, you know, so it, it literally, it's very exciting and it's, it's for all kids of all ages you know it's really not just for children you know because i love water parks you know yeah. and so um it, it's again another adventure you know once you're done with that you could then leave and go to another area of the ship yeah. and enjoy that yeah so i guess as we kind of wrap this up just a few words of your overall experience and your I, I, I think we need to kind of get across that you never really felt overwhelmed right you never yeah. you never felt Every, everything was t t too much to yes. handle, right? Yes. Um, for the size of the ship, yes, you never felt like you didn't know where you were going or you were lost or like, oh, this is literally is something on the ship for everyone. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll never be bored on the ship. And if you were one of those people who needed your quiet time, you, they, you can totally find a nice quiet space. Mm -hmm. They have hideaway, which is um, the aft of the ship, where it's for 18 and Ad older, where only. you could really just go and escape for a little bit while your your you know nieces or, or nephews or yeah. your children are off playing at the water park or in the kids center. Yeah. You could then go and relax and have your own zen time as well. It seems just so the whole ship is so carefully and thoughtfully put together. You know, even, I mean, again, I, I've just heard from other people that mm -hmm. even the elevators, right? They've reinvented yes. the way the elevators work. Smartest worked. ever, ever. Yeah. Yes, so you go to this little pad and you tell it you want to go on the seventh floor yeah. and then it'll tell you go to elevator B. Right. It's, it's all alphabetical. Um, and so you go to B and you go in and anyone that is going to the seventh floor, the 14th floor, what have you, that's been assigned to B, you go stand over at B. So it's never overwhelming. Right. And there's no buttons inside for you to select. It's right. all been pre-programmed for you. Right. And it's, you know, we go on a yeah. lot of cruises, you and I, and yes. the little things like waiting at the elevator can right. get kind of annoying. Yes. So they've, they've thought of yeah. a way to... Yeah. It's very, very smart. And of course, there's always stairs everywhere, you know. So yes. if you didn't want to wait for an so, elevator, you could you easily... if you a little too much... Right. ...want to take the stairs... Stairs are your best friend. <laughs> the stairs are your best friend. Yeah. So let's wrap this up. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you had an amazing time. What can someone do? Because I know that it's hard to get on Icon, right? There's It's, it's pretty booked. Yes. So how can cruise planners help? 
you, you can definitely contact your cruise planners today because we have a great relationship with Royal Caribbean. We are one of their top producers. Mm -hmm. And so we've got some great space and exclusive offers and now is the best time to book. Yeah, book now because it's it's getting full. It's a hottie. And everyone is talking about it. For well, sure. Teresa, thank you so much for joining us Well, thanks today. for having me. This was so much fun. Thank you for being here. And thank you, you two, for taking a look at Icon of the Seas and Cruise Planners. Thanks for watching. For exclusive offers and a complete personalized experience, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for post notifications.